Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today I am leaving Osaka. So it's my final day. I am going to take the bullet train back to Tokyo. So if you watched the video where I actually came to Osaka using the normal trains, um, yeah, I did that and that took about 12 hours and I don't know if I will be doing that again anytime soon. So the main reason why I did that was because it's golden week. So all the bullet trains would have been booked out and it would have been so packed if I went into the cars with like no seat reservations. And I heard that like sometimes you'll be squished in the bullet train for like three hours, which is not what I wanted to do. And also the friend I went with, he's done um, these normal train trips for a while now and he just enjoys that stuff. So then he asked if I wanted to join him and I was like, okay, I guess I'd do it once just to see how it is and yeah it was good like I got a lot of good views it was beautiful um, lots of nice scenery but the fact that it did take 12 hours was a bit too much for me so I don't think I would do that anytime again soon anyway I booked um, bullet train tickets to go back to Tokyo because golden week is over so I was able to get tickets I actually booked um, the Kodama which is the slowest bullet train and it's a bit more cheaper and I got the green car as well so I've never tried the green car before so I thought I might as well try it out a green car is better than the normal seats in the bullet train and it wasn't that much more expensive it was like a thousand yen more which is ten dollars more so why not right so I booked that I'm gonna show you guys what it's like because I've never seen it myself and yeah I'm gonna just finish packing my stuff I've almost packed everything gonna go to my host family's uh, store to say goodbye and spend a bit of time with them before I leave then I'm off to Shin Osaka station so I'm a bit sad because I really like Osaka and I kind of wished I lived here for a bit instead of just staying in Tokyo the whole time. Anyway, I really need a pack um, because I need to leave soon. I've got almost everything packed. So yeah, I'm going to go down and get some breakfast. Alright, just having some breakfast. So I've got toast with uh, cheese and ham and then I got some strawberries and my coffee. Taiyaki. If you guys watch my other vlogs, I made these posters for them. They also do food here as well, so okonomiyaki, nyakisoba. Yeah, I made these new posters for them and then I wrote it in English as well so you guys know what's in the food. And it's really delicious, so really recommend you guys eat here. I'll link the vlog down below where I showed you guys how to get to this place. So, fish shake cake filled with custard or you can get red bean. He's giving me a taiyaki to bring on the Shinkansen. Ah, arigatouzaimasu. Arigatouzaimasu. I'm at the train station now to go to Shinosaka. I just left the um, at the store and yeah I'm really sad. I'm really sad that I may not be able to see them for like quite a while. Um, I'm hoping that I can fly them to Australia next year. I told them that like um, if they have time then I'm happy to fly them to Australia and just take them around so I'm hoping that would happen. I may or may not come back to Japan this year I'm not sure. Um, I'll try and I'll try next year to go back as well because I used to go every year anyway but yeah it's just sad this time because Every time I needed a place to stay in Osaka or every time I needed someone, I'd come over here and they'd take care of me. And it's really sad saying goodbye, definitely really sad because they're like my second family here. But anyway, I'm going to Shin Osaka now. I've got the taiyaki they gave me so I'm going to eat this on the Shinkansen. Yeah, there's like a reading light which you can 
Bye. Hey guys, it's actually a few days after I came back from Osaka and um, I was editing the vlog and I realised that I never actually finished the vlog and I thought that I would try it and um, put something extra in it just to kind of finish it off a little bit but Osaka has been great and I wished I lived in Osaka for a little bit instead of Tokyo because um, I don't know, I just I just prefer the vibe in Osaka better. It's just a lot more friendlier than Tokyo and I don't know, I feel that it's hard to explain but um, living in Tokyo is very stressful so it was very good to have that getaway and I spent like more time in Kyoto this time which is really good because every time I've been to Kyoto I've only spent like one day there and I always go to the same places like the Kiyomizudera and that's about it and just trying out new things so going to Fushiminari because I've always wanted to go and I never did go and then doing the river dining that was amazing and doing the fire ramen that was really cool before I was like vlogging a lot I used to go to this temple called Suzumushi in Kyoto and it's a place where you um, go and you make a wish and, and then it comes true and then you come back and then you return the thing and then you get a new one so I used to go to that temple a lot but it was always out of the way of everything so I never went back again I kind of wished I went back to that uh, temple when I was there in Kyoto last time but anyway it was still great I um, got to spend time with my host family and it was really sad leaving them um, yeah really sad because that means I won't be seeing them for a while um, yeah that made me pretty sad but that's okay because I am coming back to Japan um, sometime this year I got an offer to come back to Japan for work um, at the end of the year so I'm gonna ask them if I can stay back a bit longer and spend time with people anyway I'm in the process of packing up my stuff and everything I'm getting ready to leave Japan soon so thank you so much guys for watching this video um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye